welcome to one of the another lecture of python checkbox widget or the check button widget check boxes are also known as tick boxes or check boxes these are the widget that permit the user to make the multiple selection of a number of different options there is different to our radio button radio button we usually used for selection of one choice only but here the scene is changed we just select multiple selection at one time usually check boxes are shown on your screen as you can see these are the square boxes that can contain the white spaces for example for false it is not checked or for tick it is checked a caption describing the message of the check box is usually shown adjacent to the check box the state of the check box is changed by clicking the mouse on the box alternatively it can be done by clicking on the caption or by using the keyboard shortcut for example the space bar a check box is has two state one is the on state and another one is the off state the tk enter check box widget can contain the text but only in a single font or image and a button can be associated with python function or the method when a button is pressed tk enter calls the associate associated function or a method so the text of a button can span more than one line let's just see a simple example of this python check button and we just see how we just creating this python check button i just import the library of check button and here i just import the or here i just create the screen of this window i am just using a different word to show you the better understanding of that how you just create your screen with different word it is up to you you just write master here root here or window here or a b c any of the word here then i just create the variable number 1 which is equal to integer variables int variable here is i n t is capital here and v a r so v is capital here so i just creating the variable with the name of variable 1 then here i just write check button and check button which is i just create this check button on my master screen which is text is equal to mail and then here i just write this is variable and variable which is equal to variable number 1 so i just create one variable here so i just call this variable right here then i just create this grid view which is row is equal to 0 so i am just designing right here in the grid view so grid is also the method here we just learn about the grid method in next upcoming lectures of the geometry management then i just write is tiki w here you just simply use the concept of that one we just discussed more about the rows and the grid view in next upcoming lecture the grid view sticky is w now i just create one another variable with variable number 2 for my check box number 2 simple as our button number 1 here i just define the check button and the master which is mail so i just create this check button on the master screen which is a text of female so variable number 2 right here for the button number 2 and the grid view and row number 1 because if i just write zero here so these button are in the same rows and one button shows to me only simply i just creating the main loop you just know about the main loop and run this code here so check button and you can see here on your screen these are the two check button with the name of male and the female hope so you understand now so here i just simply define the value to the check button which is the male and set this my variable to this button then i just use this grid method here so what is the grid method exactly grid is an anchor type of the tk enter layout manager i just told you we just talking about that grid method to in our layout management so beside pack introduced in our next upcoming lectures so there are the three methods of 
the layout and the geometry manager remember that one is a pack one is a grid and another one is a place method as you can see here here we have the two states check button and we have the two state right here first one is this is the offset but i just told you the offset is zero then i just click on that one so this is the on state now this means that we have the two values like if we take the example of the boolean one is a false and one is the true when i just click on that so that is true when i just untick this so this is the false hope so you understand now with this check button then i just tell you about that work with these all methods so as you can see here first i just create the variable and then integer variable so i just simply create one variable for this button then second variable for this button and then take the user output from this screen you just simply add your buttons with this text so it's up to you so if hope so you understand now if you find any of the problem regarding to this check button so please let me know and we use this check button in next upcoming lectures when we just start working with our python tk enter project based work thanks for watching